Speaking of Tesla and electricity, what did you think about Tesla's initial idea? The people in the Nikola Tesla fan club somehow feel that he got wronged in his life. Let's cut through the noise. Nikola Tesla's wireless energy transmission isn't science fiction. It's misunderstood science fact. But his contributions to electromagnetism are real and recognized in the world of physics. There's a unit of electromagnetism named after him. So don't come crying to me say he was not recognized by my people, okay? Today we're setting the record straight. You're here because you've heard the debates, the claims. He had some ideas that were a little out there on a level where it almost certainly would have not worked and yes, even the dismissals of Tesla's groundbreaking work on wireless energy transmission. Electromagnetic energy, you can ask how much energy is in that? Well, not much. Well, of what good is it? You're not gonna drive a car with that energy. You're not gonna run a motor with it. Oh, you know what we found? We can use electromagnetic radio waves. We can use radio waves not to transmit energy. That's not the point of it. The point is to transmit information. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a man many of us admire for his contributions to science education, recently weighed in on this topic. As your photons get higher and higher energy, yes, you can start doing things with them. You get x-rays and gamma rays, but that's not what Tesla was referring to. He was talking about moving radio waves. But here's the kicker, even the experts can get it wrong. And here's why. This video aims to correct some of the misconceptions surrounding Tesla's wireless energy transmission system, specifically those articulated by Tyson. Now, before we dive in, let's make one thing crystal clear. This is not a takedown of Neil deGrasse Tyson. The man is a titan in the field of astrophysics and has done incredible work in bringing complex scientific concepts to the public. But science thrives on challenge, on questioning, and even on correction. So consider this video a scholarly discussion, an extension of the scientific dialogue that Tyson himself so passionately advocates for. Let's not mince words here, Neil. You got it wrong on Tesla's wireless energy transmission system, and it's high time we dissect why. In his appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast, Tyson presented a rather skeptical view of Tesla's wireless energy transmission system. You can't pack sufficient energy in your radio wave to do anything we need to do mechanically. He argued that electromagnetic waves, specifically radio waves, simply don't pack enough punch to do the heavy lifting of powering machinery or even light bulbs at a distance. If you had enough power in radio waves to power a light bulb through the air, are you standing in the way of this? You wanna move it through the air and you wanna walk around like, no, that's not how that works. What, I, what I've heard- If you're moving discuss... enough energy through the air, to power something that itself could kill you. The energy powering through, the, moving through the air could kill you. Tyson also raised concerns about the safety of transmitting energy through the air, suggesting that such a method could be hazardous to human health. However, here's where the disconnect happens. Tyson's dismissal is rooted in a straw man argument. He critiques Tesla's system based on the premise that it relies on radio waves traveling through the air to transmit energy. But that's not what Tesla had in mind at all. Tesla's actual system was designed to send ultra high voltage alternating currents, UHV AC, into the ground, not through the air. Tesla himself stated that electromagnetic wave energy, or as he called them, Hertzian waves, would not transmit through the air effectively, specifically because of the inverse square law, also referred to as dispersion issues. The men who used his magnifying transmitter in such a way, Tesla dubbed the radio men and further mocked their efforts in a well-documented pre-hearing council meeting. So, in essence, Tyson isn't wrong because the physics he proposes is entirely accurate. It's that Tyson is debunking a version of Tesla's system that Tesla himself never proposed. By not accurately representing Tesla's actual system, Tyson inadvertently steers the conversation away from the real science and physics behind it. And that's a disservice to both Tesla's ingenuity and to the scientific discourse Tyson himself holds in high regard. So in Tesla, in Tesla's So Tesla, case, everyone is thinking he's got the solution to the future transmission of energy. No, he doesn't. Well, I don't think anyone's saying that, but what he they did, are saying and his fans do. Contrary to popular misconception, Nikola Tesla's actual wireless transmission system did not rely on transmitting energy through the air using radio waves. Instead, he proposed a system that leveraged the natural conductive properties of the Earth. Tesla's ingenious design sent ultra-high voltage alternating currents into the ground, not radio waves through the air. Additionally, it's important to note that Tesla's concept of wireless electrical transmission is often sensationalized into notions of limitless power. However, Tesla himself never claimed that his system would create energy out of nothing. Instead, it was a method for transmitting energy from one place to another without the need for wires. Tesla's system was grounded by the drive for scientific, practical, and transformative solutions not in the world of science fiction. His idea was to use the Earth as a giant conductor with a transmitter sending electrical currents into the globe and a receiver pulling them out elsewhere.